Unfortunately, I am back again to talk about this deer stuck in the headlights, Tucker Carlson. And here we are thinking we had something when we thought he might have gotten fired. But then again, let's be real here. They're not getting rid of this man unless something really, really happens to him or he does something to really bring down the entire network that is Fox News. So as we all know, there was a shooting that happened in Kenosha. And I'm not talking about the one that happened with Jacob Blake. I'm talking about the one that happened with that 17 year old who came from Antioch, Illinois, all the way to Kenosha, which I found out was about 30 minutes away from there. So it wasn't like it was a long of a drive. Mind you, he came over there and crossed state lines uh, with a firearm that would be deemed illegal. But, you know, people like like Tucker Carlson are going to leave that part out. But basically, Tucker Carlson got on his platform, on his soapbox, and of course made a controversial or some controversial comments, and people, yet again, are outraged by what he said. So what did Tucker Carlson say now? He basically uh, said that he felt that the kid did an honorable thing, because believe it or not, on social media, they are actually calling him a hero. I kid you not, it was a whole hashtag that was calling him a hero for what he did. And one thing I've noticed is that Tucker Carlson and plenty of others who talk like him and think like him, hell, even act like him, leave out the part that the people who were shot were white. They weren't black, even though they said it was a Black Lives Matter protest. But if you look at the the aesthetics of everything now with a lot of these Black Lives Matter protests, it's a lot of white people out there now. And I mean a lot of them. And it was uh, white people that got shot. But they they will leave that part out because trust and believe if the person was black, they would have definitely found a way to slip that in there. But they the ones that say we always talk about race. But anyway, the article reads Fox News host Tucker Carlson on Wednesday sparked vehement backlash online after saying it was not surprising that the teen accused of fatally shooting two protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin, took matters into his own hands because no one else would maintain order in the city. So that was his job to come and do, I guess, in his eyes. I can tell Tucker Carlson is the person who wouldn't bust a grape in a fruit fight. He just looks like the type that wouldn't do it. So what does that amount to? We're unsure. A court will decide whether what you just saw qualifies as self-defense because, yes, they are going or trying to go with the self-defense claim for him. As of tonight, we're really we really don't have more details. Carlson said on his show Wednesday, we do know why it all happened, though. Kenosha is devolved into anarchy because the authorities in charge of the city abandoned it. People in charge from the governor of Wisconsin on down refused to enforce the law. They stood back and they watched Kenosha burn. Actually, that's not why it happened. Uh, Tucker Carlson. It was a major incident that happened that led to all of this. And many of those who are in law enforcement probably didn't want to deal with it because they already knew it was happening. They already got a glimpse of that. What happened a couple months ago with George Floyd in Minneapolis and see now, now it's almost like they know what to expect when something like this happens. They are going to expect this. Well, common sense would tell them to not do it, but see it's in their nature to act as a savage so they will so they're going to continue to do it because that's all they know how to do and when i say they i'm talking about the terrorists nobody even wants to say that what this kid did could have been classified as domestic terrorism i have yet to see anyone say that even though he was arrested and charged on felony charges in the first degree so are we really surprised that looting and arson accelerated to murder? How shocked are we that 17 year olds with rifles decided that they had to maintain order when no one else would? That wasn't his decision to do. And if you go look at that kid's profile, this you can tell he wanted to be a cop because he had Blue Lives Matter stuff all over his page. Like it looked like a shrine, like he was obsessed with wanting to be a cop. And based on his actions out there, I can tell what type of quote unquote cop he would be. Like he would be the one you would have to watch out for. And Harvey did a really good video talking about him and the way that he held his gun and the fact that he had gloves on so they wouldn't be able to ID him had he not gotten caught. But realize he had no mask on, so he didn't really care that he was exposed. He was very bold to do what he did. 
And that all goes back to, you know, what people have been saying when it comes to Chicago and how people go from other towns and other cities to come to Chicago and do stuff. And then it get puts and then gets placed on black people. Look at what this kid did. He traveled from Illinois to Wisconsin. It doesn't matter that it was a 30 minute drive. He crossed state lines with a military style weapon, which is illegal. And like many people was asking, where the hell was his parents? Because, you know, if it was us, they'll always say, where's the parent? You see, this is what we need to do when it comes to situations like this and involves little white kids, little white boys, especially. We need to ask them the same questions they love to ask and um, hit us with. Where are the parents? Oh, they must come from a single parent home. Oh, they are they're thugs. And, you know, they you know, they didn't call him any of that. Even though that's what he displayed in the moment. Everyone could see what was happening in Kenosha. It was getting crazier by the hour, he added. Carlson was referring to Kyle Rittenhouse, who was charged with first-degree intentional homicide in Antioch, Illinois. On Tuesday, Rittenhouse showed up with his rifle to the third night of Black Lives Matter protests in Kenosha after the police shooting of Jacob Blake, a 29-year-old black man. The teen who traveled from Antioch to Kenosha to attend the protest allegedly shot and killed two people and injured another. But see, they keep leaving out that the two people that he shot and killed and injured were white they're going to leave that part out as much as they possibly can as if we don't already know carson's segment immediately sparked outcry on social media including from democratic representative mike quigley who called on the gop and president uh, in 45 to immediately and unequivocally condemn Tucker carlson's comments and the disturbing rise in white nationalist violence let's be real here they ain't about to do that they're in bed with each other Nicole Hannah Jones, the New York Times Magazine reporter who won a Pulitzer Prize for her work on the 1619 Project, said on Twitter that Carlson just, just justified murder. A Fox News spokesperson responded to an inquiry from The Hill by pointing to the full transcript of Carlson's remarks and a tweet the host posted Wednesday night where he reiterated the points made on his show, suggesting the acts of local leaders led to the alleged violent acts by Rittenhouse. Conservative voices also came to Carlson's defense, such as 45's son Donald Trump Jr., who accused the media of twisting the commentator's words. The left wing media is willfully twisting Tucker Carlson's words to smear him. He never endorsed vigilante justice. Um, we literally heard him say, Let me go, let me go back. Where he says, So are we really surprised that looting and arson accelerated to murder? How shocked are we that 17 year olds with rifles decided they had to maintain order? When no one else would. Let me see if what else did he uh say uh in here. What else does that amount to? We're unsure. A court will decide whether what you just saw qualifies as self-defense, so on and so forth. That sounds like justification to me. It's just the way that he worded it. <laughs> Cause you know you gotta read between the lines when it comes to people like Tucker Carlson. And he's not very hard to read. The White House and 45 campaign officials sought to distance themselves from Rittenhouse alleged actions after it was reported the team had attended a Trump rally and shared pro-law enforcement rhetoric. Oh, really? Well, that's not a surprise, but I have to say it. Oh, really? So he was at a 45 rally. And actually, now that I think about it, he was because somebody had posted up a picture where 45 was on stage and the way that the camera was angled when the picture was taken, you can see him clear as day sitting right, right in the front row to the side. I think he had some glasses on at the time. That's why they want to distance himself from it because now they're going to say, oh, they got the, he got the rhetoric from them. Now, notice 45 ain't going to say nothing, but if it was a black person, a black boy that came out there and started firing off, then they would have, uh, he would have said something. I'm surprised he didn't come out and give that you that BS that he gave for Charlottesville a couple years ago, where there's good people on both sides. It says 45 condemns violence in all forms and believes we must protect all Americans from chaos and lawlessness. White press White House press secretary Kaylee Mc McEnany uh, said in a statement. Now, did he actually say that or did she? This is why he is encouraging Democrat governors to request the National Guard and federal law enforcement to augment their local law enforcement efforts. But like I said, here's the thing. It was a pro-Trump person who most likely is right wing leaning 17 year old who traveled and crossed state lines who bought that chaos over there and did the shooting. 
just like what happened in Charlottesville when none of them people that was down there, most of them wasn't even from there. And the one who ran over that white woman had the hire. He wasn't even from there. He wasn't even from the East Coast. He traveled and crossed multiple state lines to get there and do what he did. See what I mean? It's the selective outrage here. And like I said, they're going to be very lenient with their words because the people that this written house, this kid, because I keep forgetting his first name, did because of who he shot and who he killed look just like him. So they're going to be very careful with their words. They're not going to word it in a way if he had shot and killed a black person or if it was a black person who did the shooting. They're very crafty like that. 45 campaign spokesperson Tim Murtaugh said in a statement that Rittenhouse had nothing to do with our campaign and we fully support our fantastic law enforcement for the swift action in this case. But he was at the damn rally. He may not have had nothing to do with it, but he was a supporter of you. And see, they have to excuse themselves from that because they're in the midst of a campaign run for reelection and they can't afford to have this kid attached to him. That's why they are backing away from this. If this wasn't an election year, well, shoot, if it, even if it wasn't an election year, he still would shy away from it to try to make it seem like he had no connections to 45. It's crazy. It's this video started off more so about Tucker Carlson than anything, but ended up being more so about 45 in his cabinet. But, you know, they all pretty much run in the same circles. But, yeah, this doesn't surprise me coming from Tucker Carlson. I've done so many stories on videos on my channel about Tucker Carlson and the filth that comes out of his mouth. He says stuff for shock value all the time. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be outraged by what he said um, because he's, that's what he's known to do. That's all he's known to do. That's why they keep him employed there, even despite him going on these quote unquote vacations or them giving him these little suspensions. They really add up to shit at the end of the day because he's going to continue to do what he's always been known to do. And the only reason they're keeping him there is because they can't find a replacement or a bigger jackass at the moment than him to fill that seat. 